Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2021, Japan. Case Fiesta 4, day two from the Nippon Budoka. I'm Russell Goodall. I'm Nicholas Pettis, and actually, this is Leona Pettis versus Takeru. Man, this fight, I'm. <laughs> It's been 10 years in the making for me. A lot to say here. This yeah. is the super featherweight. Uh, let me just clear up this. Yeah. He is not my son, but okay. he is my last uh, student that fights under the name Pedro. Yes, because there's rumors that he is your son, but yeah. he's not. He's no, not. he's not. <laughs> <laughs> One of your disciples, as they say. Oh, issue. man. Yeah. Coming up against Takeru, this is like nerve-wracking for me to watch this. Because Leon's been, been wanting to fight Takeru for a while. Many years. He's yes. actually, at this point, the current cross champion. So. There are two champion belts up on the line here. Right. And Takeru obviously um, the natural born crusher as they call him and almost that. Oh, uh, they in both that are yeah. heavy hitters. For this weight class, they are heavy hitters. If they start banging it, it could go to any way. Nasty. Let's hope it becomes an exciting game. How long was uh, Leona uh, training with you? Uh, Nick? Well, he started off his couple, first couple of years, I think about two years with us in the beginning when I was still training kickboxing and everything. And then we formed a team with Bungling Bay and he moved on to the Bungling Bay Spirit Team. He now has his own gym with his brother and his brother is also at this time right. also a champion in the crush. So they were both champions at the same time, which is kind of really cool. That's, uh, that's corner. Yeah, that's corner. corner. Yeah. Oh man, these guys. It's like a different level of speed and everything and intensity. Now, Leona has got the uh, the height reach uh, challenge here. Mm -hmm. He's actually got the advantage of that. But Takeru is just so sharp with his punches. Look at that jab. Oh, nice nice knee. Oh, oh, we didn't see the way. Oh, man. Ah, oh, ah. I told you. Look at that. It could go anyway. Anyway. Oh, man. Oh, ouch. ouch. Oh, man. Yeah. It's just so nerve-wracking for me to watch this again because I know how much this fight means for him. Right. You know, his mother passed away last year and uh, it was his, really his dream of being able to show her the K1 champion belt. So, you know, hopefully he can get it, you know, and go show it there at, the, at her grave. Again, these global situations, I mean, it's just an unfortunate accident, but yeah. it really does break up the fight and it's really unfortunate because you know, sometimes it's a good thing that happens and you get like a, a time to think about something. Uh -huh. Other times it just completely takes your yeah. focus away and then it becomes a different fight. Kind of breaks the flow in the fight. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so let's stop back up again. Oh, this fight is just amazing. Look at that. Even after that low blow, low blow. Oh yeah. Oh, we. It can be deadly those kicks. Oh. Oh, nice counter. He actually hit him with that. Oh, yes. that jab. <laughs> nice. Man, if you. Whoa. Oh! No, don't bang, don't bang. Not yet. That's not the plan. Oh. Man, Takeru is like so sharp on it. He does not miss an opportunity when it's there. Ooh, another knee. Yeah, nice big lead. Oh. Oh, I already know what Leona's gonna do here. Don't tell us yet. <laughs> Wait till it happens. It's just. Last seconds here, last seconds. You know oh, anything oh, can happen oh. in the last seconds. Oh, man. man. Can I get a oh, oh, no. Ow. Oh, Leona. Get up. Get up, man. Just stand up. Oh, man. This was not the plan. Yeah, yeah, okay. Man, this is what I'm talking about. Those last 10 seconds. And with something like, like these two, it's just nuts what happens. Oh, Leona, you're... Oh. <laughs> this was not what you were supposed to do. Right. But he just went in there, and I knew he was going to go banging. Oh, he just wants to win that badly. Yeah, but this is what it means to uh, come up against Takeda, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's but these two are both like technicians and knocking each other, uh, uh, people out, so... Yeah. 
I mean, what do you know? Anything can happen here. Oh, Takeda's having the time of his life in there. Look at that. Yeah. They, see, they oh, are. Yeah, yeah. It's just oh, so close. And right on the bell. Oh. I mean, you know, they, they hit uh, Takeda quite strong there, too. And yeah. They kind of swayed back. Oh, he's got really heavy hands. Well, they both have, so. I mean, you never know what can happen. It's round two, so. Don't give up on him. Round two. That's quick. Man, he's really taking the aggressive, uh, uh, like, attitude here in this one. Oh, look at that. See, that's all it place. takes. Oh, man. Yeah, no, yeah. what? Oh, oh, look at that. That was a down, man. That yeah. should have been a down. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it was on his knee, right? Oh, come on. He dropped down to his knee. The referee, is he watching the same fight? Sorry, I'm a little bit uh, invested here in Leona. Oh, man. Don't do anything stupid. Not yet. Take your time. Oh, Oh man, he's actually messed up from that double down. Oh no! Um, That's it, folks. Uh, win of there. What a champion. What a champion. Okay, we won by. Yeah, well, I mean, that was definitely like the most exciting fight of the whole Festa 4. Uh, man, it was just really emotional investment because it's yeah. Leona Petas there, of course. We were, we were feeling that. There he is, Takeda yeah. going over to uh, Leona. But um, if, uh, yeah, if there's ever a chance, it would be awesome to see them back in yeah. the ring together again. I'd love to. I'm, I'm sure Leona wants a rematch. Yeah. yeah. There's uh, Takeda having that talk with uh, yeah. No, it's just, you know, the fight was scheduled uh, the previous year in, 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 in uh, November and it right. got, you know, because of an injury, it got postponed. Sure. Then they were going to fight in January, it got postponed again, and then finally here. So they had this, like, seven-month wait for the fight. Um, it's been a long time in, in coming, huh? Yeah. But like but, you said, it was like 10 years. In, in, well, in it took 10 years yeah. for Leona to get up to this fight. It would have been quite something if uh, Sheena had become the champion and Leona had won also in one day. That would have been awesome. <laughs> For you, it would have been. Yeah, a, that would have been a dream yeah, come true. Yeah. But, you know, all respect for Takeda. He is a legend, man. We can't deny that. Oh, yeah. look at that. And there's no way I could take a punch like that if I was hit like that anyway, so. He's just so sharp with everything he does. Like, for real, so fast and so sharp. Nice. If you're going to lose to someone, this is the champ you right, want to lose right. to. Right, right. I think he <laughs> yeah. And he went in banging, so why not? Why not? He obviously wears the bell for a reason, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo, the KO bonus. The KO bonus. <laughs> Those ladies have something that for a new wall money. Now, just all the passion that goes into it. Blood, sweat, and tears, man. Blood, but sweat, training, tears, yeah. like all the training to get to that level of these guys, it is amazing. And it's not just training that could get you there. It's sure. it's like a natural sense of, of how to fight. And, like living in that. Think of all the pressure. Yeah. Like think of all the pressure walking into that fight. This has been like in the talks for so long now. And then they're finally there and then be able to perform like yeah. these guys yeah. do. Oh, it's just unreal. That's, that's nerve wracking just thinking about <laughs> standing in that ring. With an opponent, so here's Takeru with his post fight speech.
今日はたくさんのご来場本当にありがとうございます、えー、この、えー、コロナとかいろいろ問題があって僕が1年間試合できなかったんですけどその分やっぱ今日の試合であの1年間パワー与えれなかった分あの格闘技好きだけじゃなくて日本中世界中の皆さんにパワーを与えるのはやっぱり格闘技の力があると思うんで僕の試合であのパワーを与えれたらよかったなと思いますでまあ本当今日ケースフェスタの,あの K1 ウィーク K1 ウィークの最後の鳥でやっぱり KO じゃなきゃだめだなと思ってあのやっぱりレオナ選手パンチあるしすごいいい選手で僕もアマチュアで2回試合してるんですけどその頃から強くてあの本当にいい選手だったんであの今日試合、この最後のリングで最後の場所でレオナスに戦えて本当に嬉しかったですしやっぱ k 1は KO じゃないと、まあ、なんか判定もいろいろ言われてますけど結局やっぱ倒したほうが勝ちなんであのそれを体現できたらいいなっていう風な気持ちで今日は KO しました、えー、これからも k 1だけじゃなくてもう格闘技、まあ、スポーツ全部ですけど本当人にパワーを与える力があると思うんで。あのぜひこれからもパワーを受け取ってもらえたら嬉しいです、えー、そして、えー、本当にあの今日会場にあのスペシャルゲスト来てくれてるんで那須川天心選手、今日はご来場ありがとうございます、えー、K1 へようこそ、えー、そうですね、本当にあの天心選手も本当世界中の強豪を倒してあの世界最強を証明している日本人の1人だと思うんで、えー、天心選手と最高の舞台で最高の試合を僕はやりたいと思ってるんで、はい、本,当にあの本当に長い間お待たせしましたけどあの本当にこの試合は多分格闘技界にとってもスポーツ界にとっても日本にとってもめちゃくちゃパワーのある試合になると思うんで絶対あの僕はやろうと思ってるんでぜひ天心選手よろしくお願いしますはいすいません長くなりましたけど、えー、本当今日は k 1に来てくださって本当にありがとうございましたこれからも k 1たけるでもう格闘技界全体をみんなで応援してもらえてもっともっと盛り上げていってもらえたら嬉しいです。今日はありがとうございました。格闘技最高。Okay, now in the people, it's a bit of a great show. This is the moment for you. Yeah, no, no, he's a real champ. I mean, all respect for real. Let's see how Leona can bounce back after that. <laughs> That's all I can say. But man, he is a legendary champ for sure. That challenge to the attention of Nas Naskawa as well, there too. See if that fight might happen. Yeah, that would be super interesting, yeah. actually. And definitely, yeah, he's got that sort of uh, thinking about the, you know, all of that uh, the emotion putting in, uh, you know, and bringing everything. And uh, just want to look forward to it. Was, I mean, it was, it was an exciting fight, to, to say the <laughs> least, you know. Very exciting, yeah. that's for sure. Very well deserved win, too.、Mm. And, I, and I wish the best for Leona as well, too. And what's coming for him in the future. Yes. Well, what a, a day it has been.、Um, and so, so many fights, including this one that we just、uh, watched as well, too.、Uh, again, the, the big heavyweights、uh, and all the fighters. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, this was day two of K1 World Grand Prix 2021 K Festa 4. And the winner and the super featherweight title match champion was Takeru. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis.